Let's face it, some people thrive on conflict. They're not just assertive, they're aggressive. They like to say it like it is. They like to be confrontational. But for the rest of us, not so much. Let's face it, difficult conversations are difficult. And confrontation can be very, very tense and uncomfortable. What I've learned for me in difficult conversations is that I do better if I think not in terms of confrontation as much as confession. The word confess to me means to say the same thing. It means to really just say what's so, to tell the truth, to tell how you really see things or how you really feel. When I speak from my head, it's often going to come across as a confrontation that I feel I'm right. A confrontation is about the other person, what they're doing or failing to do. But a confession is about me. It's about how I feel, how I perceive or experience you as a person. So when I approach you as a confession, I'm giving you a chance to see how your behavior is impacting me. If we're on the same team and I feel like you're dropping the ball, rather than addressing what you're doing or failing to do, I can express my frustration or my concern about getting the project done. I can let you know about my sadness or hurt or irritation. And if you care about me, you probably care more about the state of my heart than you do to look at your own failure. Often when we point out someone else's problematic behavior, it provokes defensiveness. It can activate shame or blame. It can cause the person to go into their head thinking, is he right or is he wrong? However, when I speak from my heart, the person is much more likely to receive my communication as a reflection of who I am and how I feel, rather than an indictment about who they are or how they've failed. Today, you can begin to make it your aim to tell the truth, but to do it in a loving way. You can start by letting the person know that your approach to them is based on your desire to have the best relationship possible, that you don't want to harbor any feelings of ill will, and that's why you're letting them know how their behavior is impacting you. You'll be surprised at how much better those conversations go when you speak from your heart and not from your head. When you share your perspective or your feelings, the person is not likely to argue with you about how you feel or what you think or your perspective. Whereas telling them about what you think is wrong with them is very likely to produce pushback. In Ephesians chapter four, the apostle Paul says that we can grow up and we set aside falsehood instead speaking truthfully to our neighbor. He says that speaking the truth in love is the way we grow. Every day we have an opportunity to speak truthfully and lovingly. And every day in our healthy relationships with those that we encounter, we can grow. It's God's plan. He does it for us and asks us to do it for one another speaking the truth in love.